Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. And let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up the screen. Oh, yes, AITX. And this is pretty interesting. This CEO of AITX is hinting at a NASDAQ uplisting. And I've got the video on that one. So we're going to take a look at that. We're going to talk a little bit about Nightscope and how that's playing a role in all of this. So let's get into AITX and this whole NASDAQ talk. All right, first, we all know it's brutal out there. It's been brutal for months. I have bought very little uh, stocks in the last several months. because I've just been so freaked out by this market. It's really been made me uncomfortable for a long time. And you probably felt the same way. And even with uh, being careful, I've still, you know, taken hits and it's been tough. That's why I've been trying to move into cash over the last little bit, and especially the last couple of weeks. It really got creepy when a lot of the big YouTubers were selling out like Meet Kevin. That obviously played a role in a lot of the retailers, uh, uh, retail investors getting out. And it's just a lot of things aren't going well. You've got inflation that's super high. You've got high interest rates coming in March, which are that's bad for everybody. And then you've got this Rony Rona that just hopefully it'll go away in a month or two. We'll see. But it's made doing business very difficult across the board. And then you've got Janet Yellen out there and Chairman Powell out there talking about, oh, well, it was, you know, transitory. It's a temporary blah, blah, blah. Yeah, right. They're nuts. They know nothing. Yeah, that, that, wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't well received by me. Uh, anyway, yeah, this... Uh, Transitory. No, inflation's here to stay for a while, and a pretty good while. And it's not 4 to 7%, it's about 12 And go to a grocery store if you don't believe me. Go buy some gas. Go rent a car. Go buy a used car. Go blah, 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 blah. Do it all. You'll see. Anyway. But it's, I mean, it's, look, I'm bringing in my assistant to help right now. You need to know it is dangerous out there. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. No, Will Robinson. Danger. Okay, well, there you go, danger. Now you know danger. So anyway, let's, uh, man, I need to, need to calm down too. Kramer's got me all upset. All right, so let's get into, uh, let's get into AITX and what the CEO said about uplisting the NASDAQ. Let's take a look at this. You can tell by the inflection of my voice, could be something interesting. A question mark at the end of the sentence. <laughs> now, very exciting piece of information I'm going to share here. Speculative, of course. If Nightscope's market cap holds after they finish uh, filing their uh, year-end um, K, because they have to be full S fully SEC reporting now, if, if, if the stock price holds through that period and after that K is released, I will absolutely accelerate our path to NASDAQ. If the NASDAQ investors, if the NASDAQ market likes what Nightscope is doing, I believe they will love, 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 love what AITX is doing. And we'll pop on out of the OTC, we'll pop into NASDAQ, and uh, and hopefully everyone will will do great. So that's, um, that's where we're kind of at on that. Okay. So he's, he's seen what happened with Nightscope. They've had a big bump up and uh, they jumped a bunch. They like tripled basically. And let's take a look at uh, what's going on with them and why. Okay, it says uh, Nightscope uh, soars on client addition. And what it was, they secured a Fortune 500 company as a customer. It says Securitas, one of the largest security players in the US has added a Nightscope autonomous security robot to its fleet. That's and that's what made it triple. And I'd say that's what Steve Reinhardt is looking at. He's like, crap. It's like, we've got a bunch of <laughs> customers. He says, while this appears to be a test run for the company, should this, should this bode well, investors have much to gain from an expanded partnership. All right. And if you look at this, uh, <laughs> look at this chart, not an easy chart to look at. Uh, they started out to like seven bucks, dropped down to like six. And this was just over a few days. And then kaboom, they ran all the way up to $23 and they're currently at 21. So this thing went from seven to 21 basically over that little bit of, I didn't think that was huge news. We see that all the time with AITX, but anyway, um, it ran way up. So we'll see if that's 
some kind of a short squeeze or exactly what that was, but it ran up 175% and then more after hours. So pretty interesting. So I'm sure the CEO of AITX, Steve, is sitting there going, I got lots of that kind of information. And um, he's probably concerned that, hey, they're going to be able to uh, sell a lot of those shares if they decide that's what they want to do. And this thing's sitting up at a high price. They're going to be able to sell a lot of shares. It'd be dilution, obviously, but it would raise a ton of money for the company Nightscope. And he may be thinking, crap, you know, they're going to have all this money, this war chest, and they're going to be able to accelerate past AITX. And he's not liking that. No CEO would like that. And he can sit there and talk about it in his video earlier. Uh, high tide raises all ships and all that nicety nonsense. Look, he's as competitive as anybody, I'm sure. And he's sitting there going, mm, they're getting all that money, and I'd like to have that. I can build my business. And I think that was how he sounded in his head, I think. Anyway, I'm in a mood today. Anyway, well, let's see what's going on with AITX's chart. Speaking of charts, all right, this is not a real fun chart to look at, obviously. It looks like a lot of charts out there on the uh, in the stock market right now, pretty much all working their way down. And as you know, I like to be straight up with you on my what I'm doing. Um, I'm not in this stock right now. I've tried a couple of times to swing it, and I got myself 50% down at one time, managed to sell it out at about a 5% loss, and then I tried to swing it again, first at $0.05, cents, then at uh, $0.02.5, cents, I think it was. Yeah, it was two and a half cents. I tried to buy it there, thinking that was uh, another support, and it ran all the way down to here to one uh, to one and a half cent, and then it ran up here to two point seven. I got out of it with a, just a small profit, and now I'm sitting here watching it. And uh, you know, I may try it again at one and a half. I may not. I don't know. It's uh, this thing's fooled me twice, so I don't know. I'm just trying to be careful with it right now. This is a really bad market. And OTC stocks have really gotten hammered, so I'm trying to be super careful with all my uh, all my swing trades or any that I'm doing long. And I'm not buying a whole lot of things long right now. I did buy some Palantir uh, a couple of days ago, but um, I'm trying to be careful. But on the other hand, this is a heck of a time. I mean, everything's down, and, and there's some real buys out there, and I'm looking hard, and I'm very seriously considering, you know, buying some stocks here in the next coming weeks. I've got myself in a decent cash position where I can do that, but I'm still gun shy. I'm still not comfortable. And I don't know that I will be until I see something that makes me feel like the winds are starting to turn. But anyway, um, if Steve decides to do that, you know, he can do that. If you remember, he filed an 8K saying, no reverse split, et cetera, all that, which, you know, he can't be going on to the NASDAQ with a penny and a half stock. That's not going to work out. But it says here, the company shall not engage in a reverse stock split of its, com of its common stock before January 1st, 2024, unless, unless the company is uplisting to the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. So that's important. So he left himself an opportunity there that if they decided to uplist or try to uplist, that's not off the table now. So this is a very interesting stock to watch, and there is no telling what's going to happen here. Will Nightscope stay up like that? He said if it stays up, he's going to accelerate uh, uplisting to the NASDAQ. So we'll be watching that closely, and that's, that's a lot of, I think that's a lot of news personally. So, you know, I don't, there's a lot of ramifications for that across the board. And, uh, We'll just have to watch and see. But uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover AITX. I might even cover some Nightscope or both of them at the same time. And um, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And I hope you did like the content. And we'll see you next time on Mr. Frugal Investor.